Don't mind our neighbor's dogs. They be yapping and barking, just like what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Right here is a package from Itani. They're new, they're just starting up, and I think this is my debut for YouTube on Itani. I think oh, it's a debut for a lot of things. Anyways, let's go. Some bubble wrap here. Try not to damage the box. Oh, and here they are. We have Parisi, which is a clone of Auto Parisi's Mega Mare. This is Sandalwood, which is inspired by the Lava Santel 33. And this is, damn, I'm gonna butcher this name, Asian. I think that's how you say it. Damn it. And it's a Naxos clone. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people always ask me, is Itani actually good? And then they ask me, is Jeremy actually good? Or is Hugo Boss actually good? Or is Yope actually good? And so that I have to say, I, I don't really like questions like that because they're just so vague and generalized that it's kind of inappropriate to answer it without a specific criteria. And you can nerd on me all you want. You can say, oh, that's just being a nerd or whatever, or whatever you want to say. And look, for sure, I totally get more followers, freaking engagement or whatever, if I had just answered every generalized question ever with yes or no, or yeah, they're good, or no, they're not good. It's like, what do you define as good? Because there's many different ways and personalized meanings of good. Now, if you define very strong and potent, long-lasting fragrance dupes that are very accurate, that also put their own spin on it, then yeah, Atani is good. I've only tried three so far. We're gonna try this one. This is Asian, the Naxos clone. And out of the three I've tried so far, I am, I'm pretty impressed. I did them on TikTok like about a few weeks ago at this point. I had their fucking Fabulous clone, their Utsana Mood clone, and their Alien clone. And they were all very accurate. They all had their own spin on it just a little bit. And they were all pretty potent and very strong. Like these things are pretty strong. Everyone loves these. Atomizer check. It's a sprayer. And anyways, anyways. Man, this is a Nax. I've never smelled Naxos, but this is freaking gorgeous. It is honey and tobacco in the most luxurious, smooth, almost creamy way. A vanilla honey tobacco. It's got a bit of a smokiness to it. This is gorgeous, bro. I think this might be my favorite so far that I've tried from my Taini. When you've been like smelling fragrances for as long as I have, or for longer than me, whatever, you kind of you kind of get this, you know, feel, this vibe, if something's gonna be long lasting or not. And from what I'm smelling with this, I can already tell that this is gonna be pretty potent, but I'll update you in a few hours. I'll film again in the next few hours, but they are pretty concentrated. Look at that. That's some oil on my hand from the fragrance. They are pretty concentrated, so I do appreciate that about Itani. Now, next up we have Sandalwood. Let's do this. This is a Santal 33 dupe. Dupes, clones, bro. I like to say clones. It's just classic fragcom. It dupes just started with the whole like when it got mainstream or whatever. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now I've smelled Santal 33. It's a beautiful, dry, kind of sweet, herbaceous, almost vital sandalwood, centaur kind of smell. It's a really strange, unique kind of fragrance in the space. It takes sandalwood and it just gives you something that is very deep and simple at the same time. What makes Santal 33 so special and so loved by so many people is how simple it is yet having so much depth at the same time and that smells just like sandal 30 i think it's more focused on the sandalwood elements it does have more of a woody smell it doesn't have as much that of that like leather i'd say this is about 91 percent the same as sandal 33 but so far i'm liking that now this is the mega Mata clone parisi and I've never smelled Mega Mare, so I'm not really going to compare this as a clone. I'm just going to talk about it more as a fragrance itself. Itani sent me a sample of it, the very first uh, package that they sent. And it was pretty much something that I just found quite unique. It was a seaweedy, briny, aquatic fragrance. It was like the strength of the ocean almost. Kind of like Aquamara, but more vital, if that makes any sense. I love showing these guys. Look at these Cosmos. They're so pretty. Anyways, anyways. Right, let me spray this and walk you through exactly what I smelled because this... I kind of want to go to like some coastal seaside, not a beach or anything, but like a coastal seaside where there's seaweed, rocks, freaking shit everywhere, wood, you know, brine, because that's the connotations that I get from this fragrance, right? So immediately, 
It smells very green, quite woody, but very washed up with a salty, aquatic, briny freshness, if that makes any sense. It literally is like you just dunked yourself into a deep side of the coast or a deep sea and then there's seaweed everywhere. The salinity is really high, it's very salty, but the ocean air around you is still kind of like coming down. And then there's driftwood everywhere, you can smell the driftwood. It is a, I like that. I really like that. And I think I might reach out to someone who has a sample of Megamata so I can actually compare it with Parisi. But from what I've smelled of this, I think this might be my favorite just because of how kind of just imaginative it is. That's the thing with fragrances. It's not something that I just do, right? Fragrances isn't something I do to smell good. Don't get me wrong, that's what it does. But for me, it's really just a brain, a brain fuck, a brain tickle. When I smell fragrances, I just, either it's nostalgic and it takes me down memory lane, or it's imaginative and I just picture all the stories that it tells. And to a lot of people, that's kind of like cringe, you know, some people, they don't really see fragrance like that, and that's fine. But for me, it is just undeniably something is being told in this fragrance it literally smells like oh like the vitality of the sea bro i love it man i love it now so far so good my favorite one so far is parisi you guessed it then asian you guessed it and sandalwood which is still nice but out of just like compared to these two this, these two just take the cake, but I, I freaking love these. I will come back and update you guys on performance, but then again, just remember this. Performance is subjective, but there will be a general average, if that makes any sense. So if these last about 10 hours on me, then it's gonna last about seven hours on someone or 11 hours on someone. So the average will be like eight to nine hours. Does that make any sense? All right, it's Gillian from the future. So yeah, um, I did end up washing my hands, so it's not really that accurate. But even after washing my hands, and it's been like five hours since, yeah, it's it's still there. I still smell it. So if I didn't wash my hands, it'd probably be going way more. But I can still smell after washing my hands, so that's pretty cool. But so far from the ones I've tried previously, they were pretty beastly, especially the Oud Santa Mood one. But I'll tell you guys what I think about these ones. I've got them on my hands. I'll just walk around, sit in with them, tell you guys what happens. So far so good i will be talking about these those guys will be consistent cast members throughout the channel especially parisi i love parisi like that is i, ch I can't wait to like go to the beach and just put that on and just embrace the vitality of the ocean yeah. no but anyways i just want to say thank you to everyone who is been following along my channel thank you to itani for sending these gifts i wish you the best of luck man and i just want to say a big thank you to literally everyone who's supporting it's been a weird kind of transition for me to go from TikTok to YouTube, but I really do want to do YouTube more than I do TikTok. And obviously, the way I've done TikTok for the past a few years, it's not been to the way that I should have been. And so a lot of the people invested are just invested in the products we talk about and not necessarily us as a community or me. And I'm all about bringing people together, you know what I mean? I'm all about just sharing my thoughts to the world and I want to help just boost your guys' days with that. If you stick around and you appreciate what we do because it's coming from me or it's coming from our community, I just want to say that I love you and I thank you very much. And if you're someone who only is watching solely because of the products featured, I still appreciate you, don't get me wrong. And I just want to say thank you for respecting that and not being pushy. Because a lot of people, they be, on TikTok especially, they be freaking making demands, bro. They be making demands. And they're not even following, they don't give a fuck about you. They're like, bro, make a video on this right now. It's like, bro, what the, what the hell? And it's been getting to me quite a bit. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone who's like real. You know what I mean? Thank you all so much. And I will see you guys later. Love you all.